This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Friel. He's taking you around the world, discussing everything science. Hey, I'm Jed Allen Friels, and thanks for joining us today on Science Quest for another episode aboard the Lake Guardians. So hey, we're still on the Guardian taking a look at research, but we're going to do a little experiment for you. We've all decorated some cups, and I'm going to let some of our other shipboard scientists tell you exactly what's going to happen with these cups. Rudy? So I know you guys like all working under pressure a little bit, and that's what we're going to do with the cups. Styrofoam cups are going to be put in a net, and we're going to take them down. How far are we taking them down? Station 5. Steve, check that out and see how Station 5 is for us. How deep? John? So I, I drilled a little turtle on mine, if you can see, and I think it's going to shrink. Uh, probably maybe half the size, but I don't know because I've never done this before. What do you think, Quinn? I made a prediction, so this is 12 uh, centimeters. I think it's going to shrink to about 5. We'll see what happens. My prediction was to shrink about 8, so about 25% shrinkage, and the idea is that pressure that far down will collapse the air out of these cups. Kim, what do you think? I think I'm going to have a really nice toaster. Toaster, really like that. So I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I'm going to be the devil's advocate. Why would it shrink at all? There can't be any air between the pores. If there was air between your air would leak, right? So I'm going out on a limb and saying there's going to be no change at all. I guess we'll see what happens after we send it down. We'll see you in a bit. Control tower with Catherine, the Marine Tech on the Guardian. I want to just verify, Catherine, we just put some styrofoam cups on the rosette. How far down are we headed? You're going down 258. 258 meters. Yeah. Mike, come on, give me a calculation of feet. It's right around 840 feet. Right? 840. Give me something relative to that, Mike. Wow just under three football fields stacked on top of each other. All right, so if we took three football fields, turned them on in, stacked them on top of each other, that's how deep we just sent those cups. Exactly. Hey, we'll head back down on deck. Rudy, you 
measurements, projections they, ahead of time. What do you think? They look smaller. A bit smaller. Me and mine's definitely smaller. Oh, look at that one. Get there, a little different. Oh, it's stuck Ooh, it's texture. It's stuck together. Three of them rough. stack. John, what do you think? Why? My, my turtle's definitely shrunk. Smaller turtle without a doubt. It's compressed. Um, Steve, what do you think? Well, that's what happens when you're in the water. Shrinkage. Shrinkage in the water. <laughs> Seinfeld, there we go. So here's the big deal, though, but why? I mean, we might know the answer, we might not, but that's what we need from you. What do you think? How much did it shrink? Why did it shrink? We were at over 800 feet, and this is what happened to a styrofoam cup. So that's your question. If you can figure it out, hey, let one of us know, and the Lake Guardian, have a great day. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Jed Allen Frill, and thanks for joining us on another episode of Science Quest aboard the Lake Guardian this week. This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Friel. Taking you around the world, discussing everything.